Alright, so this video I'm going to show you how to do the selection sort. Okay, in the previous video we just going to introduce you to the basic of sorting, which is not completing. So selection sort means we want to make sure that we want to compare the number next to it. Okay, the first number to a second number. If the first number greater than the second number, we swap. Okay, and then we come back, compare the first number to the third number on the list. If it's greater than, we swap. Okay, and the same again, repeating first number to the fourth number on the list. If it's is greater, we swap. Otherwise, we do not swap. Okay, so let me show you the list again. Like we have number one, okay, five, two, and four. All right, so first compare number one to five, okay? So we seeing that one is not greater than five, then we don't need to swap, okay? And then selection so sort do again, compare one to two. So not greater than, we not swap. 1 to 4, not greater than, we not swap. So, so we done. So we did one loop to do that. Okay. So, and then we start to move, say, hey, I want to compare 5 to the next one. Okay. And if it's less than, then we swap. Which is, we're going to swap here. And this is another loop that we need to do. Okay. And it's going to do throughout the list here which I said first loop is comparing okay number one to the rest of the list right and then second loop is comparing number five to the rest of the list. So first loop we compare, we get the answer one five two four. Second loop is comparing five to the rest of the list. Now we going to have to swap. Okay, at that point we need to have a swap methods too. So we swapped five and two, and then we still have to compare second loop. Right, is comparing number five. I would not say number five anymore. I would say index, okay? Index one. Like, because it can be swapped at that point, it will no, no longer five, it can be different number. So this is index zero to the rest of the list. Okay, index one to the rest of the list. I'm gonna put an index, this is zero, one, two, three. So those are index. Now, second loop is comparing index 1 to the rest of the list, which is this one, the highlighted part. Okay, first loop, right, do that, right. So, and then we just keep doing this over and over again, right. So, like now, we said 2, 5 swap. We still have to get back to the first loop, okay. So the first loop, actually, this is an inner loop, okay? So I'm going to call inner loop now, okay? Inner loop, and this is an outer loop, okay? Outer loop is just, outer loop is just switch the size of the list. First time is four, and then three, and then it's going to be two, and it's going to be one. So inner loop, so it's going to walk through the list. Okay, so now we need to put uh, this into programming. So let me show you, right? So first I'm going to walk you through the loop. Okay, so I'm going to create the selection sort demo.
All right, so this is the main. I'm going to write a swap. Swap. So you just want to pass an array in name list and in integer. And this is going to be index smallest index right so we always assuming that the first index has to be the smallest like start from zero and the next loop start from index one and so on and then we're going to pass the index that we want to swap in all right so now We start to swap, which we're going to create temp equals to the list with the i, okay? So, and then we going to say list that has the smallest index equals to list. If I say list i is going to replace the smallest index, that means I need to put smallest index here first. Okay, and then I'm going to say list i per much as equals to the temp. That's how we swap. All right, so now I want to show you an array, okay? An array of int. Another way to create an array, you can also put the brackets afterward. And assigning the values directly like that, one five two four, comma five two four in the curly braces. So that's another way, okay, to initialize your array and create array at the same time. Now we need to put the logic. Let's like say first we're gonna talk about the outer loop, right? And we have to talk about inner loop. So that two loop here, okay? So int i equals to now the outer loop let's look at the outer loop again the outer loop is pretty much start from zero right because it's going to compare this is smallest right smallest start from zero and compare to five okay and zero compared to two and zero compared to three so that means start from zero you don't you compare to five that means i equals to one you don't need to one second, i equal to zero, okay? And the inner loop is pretty much int j equals to one, okay? So now j equals to one because we said zero compared to one, right? So that's why j equals to one. All right, so we want to compare if, right? The list i is happen to be greater than the list j. So then we need to swap. So we are very create a swap. And the smallest index we said i. We just always assume that the first index is always smallest. Okay, at the first time. Because the swap will taken care. <clears throat> and then this will be j. Okay. Okay, so that's how we swap. Now we want to make the conditions. Of course, this one has to be. Let's think about. We start from zero until the end, which is three. But when we get to the end, we don't need to compare four to itself, last number to itself. We can actually do i less than the list dot length minus one. Okay. And then pretty much i plus plus to increment. Now come back to j, right? J is the one that we have to make sure is compare zero to one, right? Like I said, it's compare. It start from one. That's why zero to one. And what's the length? And it has to compare zero to two and zero to three. That means it's compared to the end. So that means j less than list dot length okay and then do j plus plus to do increment all right so this should take care of how to sort the list so after it's sorted i'm going to pretty much just want to
print out the list by using for each. So for each, pretty much just create the int okay num list each number on the list. Okay, I want to print out. So system dot out print only print the num out to make sure that you cover everything. All right, so let's run the program and see if it's working. One, five, two, four. Okay, so after swap, oh, it has to return the swap. If I don't want it to return, I can make it the same list by if I declare it as the class variables. It should be the same list here, okay? Otherwise, I have to make it return. So, this is the same list. So, let's make it the same list then, okay? Because now it's just showing this previous list. List dot length. Now it has to be statics to use in the statics. Okay. All right. Let's run again. One, five, two, four. All right. So let me try to move this inside the swap. It's going to show every time when it's swap. instead okay I think I I know why it's doing this because we didn't put a nest the curry braces okay when we do a loop we need to put curry braces. All right, so that should do. And let's print this list out here at the end. One, five, two, four. Oh, if we make static, we never change. One, two, five, four. It has to swap again at five and four. So we check the. I'm gonna add the new line. Then it's go to the new line after it's printed list. Like there. Okay. One, two, five, four. Now let's check the logic. All right. So the problem with this one is actually. So I, I, I did print out the output of the swap. You see that it pretty much, if I run it again, okay. So you see it's one, two, five, four, right? So it's not actually sorting yet because if you really look into details, it's going to change the smallest index all the time, right? From zero, one, Two, this will never change, which is it's depending on i, and we start from i plus one instead. And let's rerun this one. You see that? So before, okay, before it one five two four, and then one two five four, and one two four five. Now the list is being sorted. Okay, so if I want to print before, I can just put a statement to print the loop to print it before. Okay, right there. <coughs> 